Welcome back to this playthrough of Bitter Woods. It is the December 23rd p.m. turn. The first thing I need to do is check for mutual supply, and that's significant because down here, the 4th Armored Division is back in supply. So it can trace to there and back to its lines. Um, these, the Panzer Lair and these two regiments of the 26th Infantry Division are still out of supply. The Germans received no reinforcements this turn. Um, I think what I'm going to do here, I think I'm going to have... The second regiment of the fifth false majager come over, and I'm gonna have these two regiments of the five sixtieth come down to there. Oh, and this artillery will keep trundling along. One, two, three, four. Okay, over here, remember, we're all engaged at this point. I think it's time to counterattack. I have the 9th Panzer Division up here, which can slide down and cause some trouble down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... So I'll have the viewer's guard come down. Six to there. I'm going to have nine, fifteen, twenty one, thirty, thirty six. So it's going to be a two to one, minus one. So, two to one minus one there. Then that uh, breaks off the engagement. If you reinforce or attack with the engaged units, it breaks off the engagement. Um, we have a chance of wiping those regiments out. and the very least, they're kind of stuck there now. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> Over here, I think the plan now is for six mechanized units to travel south down this road and off the map here. So, first thing I need to do is push this guy around here. I need to get him out of the way. So I'm going to have these Nebelwerfers go one, one and a third, one and two thirds, two, two and a third. Well, I'm doing that wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah. Remember, our artillery only, only gets uh, twice the movement on the road. So he can, he can still get there because it's one, uh, one and a half, two, Two and a half, three, so he can still get there. <clears throat> okay, uh, I'm gonna have so that's 18 factors. I think I'm gonna have him go like this. He's gonna go one, two, three, four. I don't want this regiment going one, two, three to there and putting his own control on the road. So he'll just go there to help Piper block them off. But keep Piper right where he's at. And bring down the Fuhrer's guard to there. So that right there is a seven to one. 
minus one. Well, it'll be a six to one because of the trees, but it's it'll be a six to one minus one. <clears throat> okay. I'm a little worried about this guy up here, so I'm gonna have a regiment from the 26th Infantry Division go up there and stack with him, give him some help. And I'm gonna have the other regiment go to Piper. Okay. I still need two more mechanized regiments in the across the river and off the map to satisfy the victory conditions of six mechanized units. I've got four in position. Let me... I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to have these two regiments here, the 116th. Well, I feel silly right now, but we're... Oh, here's the 116th. Okay, I'm going to have these two other regiments come down and cross the river. Might as well go in here with this attack so that they can advance. A little bit of overkill, but oh well. Um, I'm going to have him go to here help hold yeah, that's that reduced regiment the second SS I'll have him move up to Denant one two three and have him go up there help form a little line sorry Okay, uh, I've got all these Nebelwerfers back here, kind of sitting around. Uh, they don't have zones of control, but I don't really know what to do with them. Well, I'm going to run one back to Marche. Technically, to, to satisfy the victory conditions, you have to have a unit in Marche, Bastogne, or St. Vith, two of the three. So he'll come back here to Marche and get in position to jump into the town. Um, they're just going to, he's going to stay put. I assume on this turn that the 4th Infantry Division will try and get back across the river. Probably they should have tried it last turn, but uh, um, he'll stay there for right now. Okay, I'm going to have 2nd Panzer drive up the road here into the trees. Be in a little bit better of a position right there, I think. <clears throat> I'm going to have the other regiment go there. Okay. Now we have a pretty good line up here. And we're still kind of waiting on the Americans to decide if they're going to cross the Meuse or not. So, I think, I don't see a lot of changes to be made up here, frankly. We got them penned in up here at Liège, here. So, they're in a pretty good position there. Yeah, I think, I think we're just going to have them stay put. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this artillery. <laughs> I've been bouncing them around. I'm going to move them. Oh, they're in the wrong spot. I'm going to move them back in this direction so that they can help out should the Americans come across an attack. Uh, 
Okay. Uh... Okay. I want to look at this one more time. For the Germans, this is pretty much the fight down here right now. That engaged marker goes on there, but... Oh, wait a minute. I added a unit to that. If I remember correctly... Oh, no. Reinforcement does not negate the engagement. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so this, uh, whoa. The plexiglass went sliding on me. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so the Germans have one attack, and they're going to use an aircraft. And the Americans will use one as well. The Americans have three to the Germans two again this turn. So they will negate each other. And as we discussed, it's going to be a seven to one down to a six to one for the trees, minus one. So six to one, minus one. Oop, drop my dice on the floor. I rolled a six, not good for the Germans. Six down to a five on the six to one is a D3 result. So three hexes of retreat. Let me get rid of these. So he's going to go one, two, three down the road to there, which is pretty much where he was going to go anyways. And... Uh, Um, I'll have the guards go all the way down. Hopefully, 116th here will be able to enter the trees and get a better attack on him. We shall see. Okay, well, the Americans are holding on by the skin of their teeth down here. So that's the end of the... Oh, wait a minute. I have one more attack down here. I forgot all about it. I keep forgetting about my attacks down here. And down here, the Germans will throw in an aircraft, and so will the Americans. So this one is, we already discussed it, it's going to be a 2 to 1 minus 1. Roll the 2, which ouch becomes a 1, which is a D2 result, which eliminates all three regiments. And I'll have 9th Panzer advance. I'm going to do a quick count. Well, I'll wait till after the American turn. But uh, I think that the... I'm gonna, I'll do a quick count of American losses uh, at the end of the American turn so that we get an idea of where they're at. They've lost a lot. I know it's over 30 now. So uh, we'll check that out. Okay, so now on to the American turn. Um, let me look something up real quick. I can't remember if I can voluntarily exit the map. Okay, 
Allied units to ignore the retreat other than off the northern, southern, or western map edges, and out of supply Allied units that voluntarily exit the northern, southern, or western map edges may return to the game along the same map edge on any road hex containing a box letter by remaining off the map for at least one complete game turn and entering during any subsequent game turn. Okay, that was a mouthful. Basically, I can retreat off the map, which is what I'm going to do. He has to stay off the map for a full turn. I'm going to bring him, I'll just leave him down here. Just, uh, I can bring him in on this side. Um, but I'm going to get him out of there so he doesn't get killed. Okay, so coming over here, I think I want to attack these two regiments here. Let me do the math. Uh... So it's going to be a 10, 17, 18, 23, 30, 37, 37. I'll be at 42. So that's going to be a 2 to 1. But, I will, but I'll get the combined arms bonus. So we'll be up to a 3 to 1 and it will be a minus 1. So... Yeah, we're going to do that attack. He'll move up here. I'm going to have him come back down to here. Yeah, and go to there. I'll pour all this artillery into that attack right there. Okay. Let's look at this guy. I want him to move back towards... The other side of the muse. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we can get to right there. So I'm going to have him go in that direction. Um, right now it's all down to this regiment right here. They have got to hold that road. I get no reinforcements this turn for the Allies, which stinks. I'm trying to think of what the best way to do it is. <laughs> I think he's just got to stay there and hope to God they don't... He has no other option. I think the only other thing I can try and do... is I can try and cut off their supply. You see, right now, let me put this guy back over here for just a second. See, right now, all these units across the Meuse, they're all pulling supply from right here across that bridge. So, hypothetically, if I could get units down to here, put them out of supply and they have to be in supply when they exit the map to satisfy the victory conditions I just don't know how to do that well Okay, so these guys are engaged. He, the armor can break off the engagement. I don't see why I would do that, but he can. Um, the armor here can break off. That's what I was saying. See, up here at Namur, I've got two great units, the second and third armored divisions. I need to get them down into this fight, but they're a little late, <laughs> frankly. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to do something kind of unconventional here. Remember the you take an you take a uh, you take a negative column shift on the combat results table when you do 
inter-allied combat. But I see no way around it. I'm going to have to have that artillery moved to there. Range. I got these three artillery. I've got artillery way up here. Come down to here. So I'll have a ton of artillery to pour on it. But I'm going to take two column shifts. One for being allied, you know, inter-allied cooperation, and one for the trees. Of course, I have a plane left. The allies have a plane left, so I'll be able to use the plane there. Um, okay. So up here, I need to get these two divisions down into the fight. Let me just bring them down. Hold on. Can't get them both into the fight either. They're too far away. Hold on a second. Let me look at something. Oh. I'm doing the attack in the wrong direction. Both of these units, one was here, one was there, they're going to move to there. And all the artillery is going to hit Piper here, push him back across the river. That's going to be the plan. We're going to get a combined arms shift because we're using infantry, armor, and artillery in a light woods hex. And we're going to get a shift for the aircraft. We will be on, we'll get a plus one on the die roll because Piper has a higher endurance rating. But I think that's our best shot. Let me put this engagement marker back here. I'll have to refight that one. The artillery will help out. Yep, that's our best shot at it, I think. Okay. I think third armored is going to come down here. I'm gonna come down the road and cross the river and hit this brigade of the 560th Infantry. Try and blow them out of the way. Maybe third armor can come down in here and cause some problems. Okay. What do we want to do up here? Well, my artillery left. Well, I got two pieces of artillery right here. I got the Second SS hanging out here with 14 factors. Eleven factors. The other thing is, if I cross the river, I'm at risk of losing more units, which the Americans can't really afford. I'm probably putting way too much brain power into this. The whole fight's down there with Piper, 1st SS. If we can back him up and take those units out of supply, we have a chance. Hold on a second, I gotta look at something else. 
supply, you know, because supply goes back to the roads, it can be a little complicated finding a road, and I just realized something. These units can also draw supply to here. You see, oh, okay, I know what to do. They can draw supply here across the river. They can supply get supply here, down this way, and out here. So what I'm going to do is have 4th Infantry Division go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and sit on that crossroads right there. Okay. Now if I can blow Piper back across the river, I'll take him out of supply. So... Okay, all the stuff up on the Muse is going to stay put for one more turn. Let's, uh... Yeah, we're going to stay put for one more turn. Okay, so our first combat is down here. Um, the Germans have 5, 10, 17 factors with the artillery. He fired... I have 5, 9, 16, 23, 28, 35, 42. So that's a 2 to 1. I get the shift to a 3 to 1 because I'm combined arms into a light woods hex. And I get a minus 1 for endurance rating. So it's 3 to 1, minus 1. I rolled a 3, which becomes a 2 which is a D2 result. So they have to retreat two hexes. So I'll have them I'll have one go one, two, like that. Uh, they'll both go up there. What I'm going to have, I'm going to have the 26. And the combat command R go up in there. Okay. Well, I'm going to save that one for last. <laughs> okay, so over here I have 9, 18, 24 to 3, which is a 7, well, 8 to 1. But the high, 7, to, I guess I've never told you this, 7 to 1 is as high as the, uh, the chart, the uh, combat, the CRT goes. Anyways, it would be an 8 to 1, but it's a 7 to 1, down to a 6 to 1 because he's in the trees. Um, minus one for endurance rating. So six to one, minus one. I rolled a two, which becomes a one, which is a 1d3 result. So he gets flipped, and he has to retreat three hexes. He'll go back towards the knee. Okay. Uh... No advance. No advance. We'll just stay there a little north of Denant. Okay. So down here, Piper has 20 factors. Second Armored has 10, 20, 26, 30, 34, 40, 45, 50, 55, 58. Okay, so 58 to 20 is a 2 to 1. We get the combined arms shift, which makes it a 3 to 1, and I'll use my last aircraft, which will make it a 4 to 1. But it's going to be a 4 to 1 plus 1. So 4 to 1 plus 1. A 1 result turns into a 2 which is a D4 result. That's exactly what the Americans needed. A four hexed retreat by Piper. Ouch. So Piper
and retreat to right there. And Okay, 101st and this regiment, the 75th, are going to go 1, 2, 3, block him in. Second armored. Trying to decide if I should put them all in this hex or spread them out. Yeah, I'm gonna put them all in that hex. Okay, and there's one last, last attack up here. The Germans have 14 factors. The British have 18, plus five is 23, so that's a one to one which is down to a one to two for the trees. And no ER bonus, so one to two. Roll the one result, which is another engaged. So we are engaged there. <clears throat> okay, well, the Americans got what they needed. They got a great roll. Piper is pushed back across the river. Down here, 4th Infantry, my old unit. Not literally. I was not in the 8th of the 22nd. Never heard of that, to be honest with you. But anyways, I was in the 4th Infantry Division. So, close enough. They are become a very crucial unit in this game, as has the set, the 290th of the 75th Infantry Division right here. So, mutual supply is done at the beginning of the turn, but I'm going to mark them up right now so that you can see what it looks like. Not very good for the Germans. Out of supply... Oops, sorry. Need some out of supply markers. Out of supply. And remember, when you're out of supply, if you attack, your ER is lowered by one and your attack factors are cut in half. And you have to be in supply to race off the map and satisfy the victory conditions. So, that was not good for the Germans. Not good at all. Oh, sorry. And of course, up here they're out of supply. So I've either got to force him back off that hex, which I don't know how the hell I'm going to do that. He's got 26 factors. Well, his, his artillery's out of range, so his artillery can't support him there. i I got to figure something out. Okay, I'm going to do a real quick count of the American losses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 15, 18, 20, 24, 27, 30, 32, 34, 
37. So, the Americans need to lose seven more regiments to give the Germans the shift from a potential draw or, t or tactical victory to a strategic victory. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but seven more is, you know, it's two whole divisions we gotta wipe out. Okay, so that's where we're at at the end of the December 23rd p.m. turn. We will be starting with the December 24th a.m. turn next. And a little preview, the Americans get seven airplanes this turn. Seven to the Germans, two. So the Americans are coming in with overwhelming air support. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good one.